Yo, yo, we live, live once again, man, from the ATL. It's New Jack Thriller City, man. Hey, DJ Wiz Cuddy. Hey, man, let's get up for the hostess with the mostest, man. My homegirl, Delicious, a.k.a. BBL, Big Bad London up oh, in this bitch. Goodness. Hey, Jack. The Black Vanna White. Black Vanna White of old name. Come on now. Hey. Come on. And she's so attractive with it, man. Man, we got some we got some rock stars in this motherfucker. Yes. Some some rap rock stars. They, 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 they invented a whole nother culture, started a whole nother sound when it comes to making music in the A and whatnot, trendsetters, man. Uh, uh, they, they they really had that bag. They really fucked them hoes. They, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 Is that what made them trendsetters? That, part of it. Part of it. You know, it all goes together. It all goes together, man. I'm talking about she, fast and meaning. You know, the shop boys, baby. Let's get it. Ah, party like a rock star. Party like a rock. I was there. You were there. In the video. In the video. In the video. <laughs> hey, nigga, hey, nigga, I couldn't believe that y'all actually used the nigga in the video. Man, you, you were so there. funny at that comedy show the day before. You remember you did yeah, the yeah. comedy show? You were there. You were there. Stand up yeah, comedy, still nigga. Yo, that, nigga, man. I still talk about, about when the, 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 yeah, the jawbreaker kid put the... Oh, no, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know the joke. Man, that shit was so <laughs> funny. Well, yeah. then, man, and once again, this is 07. This is 07, right? 07. 07, damn, you know the joke. Man, that shit was hell. God damn. Crying, man, we were crying. I'll never forget that. Man, that, I, mean, I sure appreciate that yeah, shit, man. Because, hey, like man. I said, I was over there. I had my chain shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> I had my hair braided back. It was a girl that was sitting next to me trying to take my shine. I was like, bitch, get out of here. After she told me she wasn't going to give me no pussy, I was like, go on somewhere now. <laughs> yeah, because she was, she, the, 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 the cameraman, he, I, he always see me in every video yeah. shoot. Yeah. I had every video shoot because I had also did um, uh, 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 the Soldier Boy shit. I was Superman oh, yeah. that year. Yeah. Yeah. Then I was in the Ply Shorty uh, oh, yeah, uh, video. Yeah, yeah. That it, I, all the videos came out at the same yeah. goddamn time. Was yeah. on the countdown on yeah. v, uh, 106. What at the same goddamn no, time? No, you sound like oh, original, like an original video host. I, I was a video host. Yeah, I was definitely a video. I was a vixen. I'm so proud of you. Yep, yep, yep. I, I was out there shaking that ass yeah. and uh, trying to goddamn get seen at this bitch. And <laughs> Figure it out, man. And yo, these niggas gave me a look at. And th the song was so fucking big. You remember when Party Like a Rock Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, everybody, if you weren't wild or a heathen, you wanted to be. Because yeah. everybody yeah. wanted to be able to have that energy, yeah, sing yeah. those lyrics. That was like really, really dope. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, you, 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 talk about what it even take to even make some shit. Like, because, you know, just knowing who y'all is collectively, mm -hmm. y'all some, some super hood niggas. Yeah, we well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that yeah. wasn't the type of music that y'all was making before that. No. Nah. You know, when you go talk about, when you talk about the pool palace, when yeah. you, you talk about crucial, you talk about the bounce and when all yeah, yeah that, that wasn't it. Y'all was doing some other stuff. What it was, uh, we were just trying to take over the pool palace for anybody who know it was a club on Bankhead called the Pool Palace. A lot of dope artists um came from there like D4L, yep. the franchise, uh it was a whole crunk music sound. I mean the snap music sound yep. with this guy named K Rap. K Rap! K Rap, yeah. Yeah, you remember K Rap? Yes. Yeah. Is Shout this a to rapper too? Yeah, yeah, rapper, but like them, them pool pellet days, I'm man. Sorry. That shit was like. She from the track. Man, we gotta get it. We gotta bring you. We gotta bring you to it, man. Really? We get you at the yeah. softball game. We playing softball. You need to come. You know what I mean? Some hood yeah, shit. I like to play with balls. I want to come. I mean, I want to come. Don't get a stuck. I'm trying to shoot my shot. She shot the shot. I'm sorry. Yeah, she shot back at your ass with a bazooka. Come on now. You better be careful now. I don't got to be. I don't got to be. I've been waiting a minute. You feel me? I want flavor flavor. I like it. I like that shit, boy. You know what's going on out here? You know what? No, you ain't. That, that, <laughs> you, that was from your heart. That shit was from your heart. <laughs> nah, but for real, yeah. But back to the rock star. So we were just trying to make a song to take over that club. You know what I'm saying? And, and it worked. And it worked. We never um, intended to, to cross over, right. lead a city, make a big hit. It was just like we had to take over that club with a song. It was so different though. Did that create like a pressure for you guys to keep going in that direction? I mean, the pressure was mm -hmm. already there because like our pro project, you got franchise and D4 with outlet from the same apartment. Mm -hmm. And they had number ones in the world, so we couldn't, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was the pressure right there. 
Really? So yeah. that you guys are like the second group that I've heard from Atlanta that when you decided that you needed to be on top, you looked at the team that was around you to make your decisions. Like, it, you guys didn't look on the outside. You looked right within. No, you, you heard what you just said. They came from the same project. Right. Yeah. Deep O.L. Yeah. 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 Franchise yeah. boys. Yeah. Shot and got down the shot, boy. Born and home. And at the same home. time? Born home. They were like, they were like back to back. Yeah. Back to yeah. back. Yeah. And this is one of the most yeah. dangerous projects yeah. in Atlanta. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you remember when Shawty Lowe and uh, got down, uh, T.I. was going at it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this they was that was that, that was that shit. Where they were shooting out the gunshots and all that. So then, who told y'all that y'all can do music? We just started question. believing, man. We seen them do it. You know what I'm saying? Really, it was really fat. Fat was the yeah. one who were rapping. So what made he you made think that? Believe. Okay, you know we from the hood. We normally don't, you know, get these opportunities. How? What made you say I'm about to take it? Oh, uh, I don't know. I used to listen to a lot of music, right? And you know how the CD at the end of the song, that little that little space, that yeah. was my birth. So Jeezy, Ti, I was rapping with all them, being rapping with them. Really? Them. So, so I used to walk up and down the street. Yeah, I used to walk up and down the street. You know what I'm saying? Listen to my music, and everybody on Bankhead used to always like all the older head, the, you know, the people in the street. Yeah, go ahead, we see you, we see you. You know what I'm saying? Right. See me with my pad and all that. So I used to go down to his spot. Men used to be making the beat. Right. So I used to be rapping here, make the beat, and then she. We started going to the club, and they were like, all, everybody in the club had a song, from K-Rap, D4, every crew had a song. Yeah. And we were fresh, but we didn't have no song. So we had to get, a lot way of, to get in the music. A lot of groups in Atlanta we, uh, was crews first. Like, um, okay. uh, D4L was a crew. You know what I'm like saying? Like a gang? Uh, I want to say I gang. mean, just, just your people you hang with. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Before yeah. the gang shit really yeah. hit Atlanta, it was the crew. Right. It was your crew, it's you know people. what I'm saying? So D4L was a crew. And um, they were down real for serious. Life. Yeah, they were. They were. They came down for low. Right. And then the yeah. music shit changed the look of it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same thing with the shop boy. We was a crew first. It was 30 of us, like 33. But we started rapping, and it, and it turned us into a rap group. You know what I'm saying? Who was the first famous person that reached out to y'all after y'all reached out y'all success? Nobody. Oh yeah. Talk, talk about, what what do you mean? mean? Jim Jones. Oh, yeah, Jim, Jim Jones. Jim Jones, yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean that. I thought you were talking about, like, why we were Yeah, why we were No, you know how you get that one person where you like, man, I didn't even think this person would even know me. Oh, Jim, Jim, oh, Jim Jones. Jones. It was Jim, Jim Jones. Jones. Shout out Jim Jones, man. Shout out Young Jim Jones. Drew. Young Drew, too. And they just hit y'all up and said, y'all made it. Yeah, Jim Jones. I remember the whole Atlanta. The whole Atlanta was supporting uh, uh, Jim yeah, Jones actually like a... flew us out there, though. Yeah, he flew us to New York. Oh, really? On his own dollar. Then want then, he just like, I just want to kick it with y'all and give y'all the game. Did music with us. This was like the song was just bubbling in the clubs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, he, he came to London and heard it. He just reached out. It was unbelievable. But yeah, Jim Jones for sure. That's dope. Shout out to Jim Jones. Shout out to Jim. A lot of people get those deals where I hear you can make money off of a single. Mm -hmm. Was that the case for y'all? Was this like a successful thing, having a single? This was yeah. ringtone era. Yeah, it, it was kind of different back then. Like It has changed now, but... Our song was so big, like we we made money off always, like you know. What if y'all never did another song, y'all yeah, party like a rock star was, yeah. was that <laughs> one, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. they can still make money. We chasing, yeah. right. chasing some more millions yeah. off of it, you know what I'm saying? I hear it every, every time they do a mix, especially in Atlanta, mm -hmm. that song has to play into it. So you guys are constantly getting paid. Yeah, you probably don't heard a lot of our yeah. songs though. That's not the only song. See, that's, that's, the only that's the that's the biggest misconception about the Shot Boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that, that Party Like a Rock Star yeah. is the only song that they ever did. That's my no. get ready. It's not. You heard the song Up Through There? Up Through There. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's our song. Even the slang, that's where it comes from. That's your song? Yeah. <laughs> You I didn't know, even know that. I'm just I'm jamming to it. But see, you know the song. difference, though? We didn't have social media back no. then. Right, right. So right. it seemed like if the labels didn't just plaster every single or put some type of imaging behind it, yeah. you'd just be rocking out to some music. And for me, I was from the Midwest. So y'all had a sound, though, in the South. Once you could hear somebody that was doing a thing in the South, you just rock to all of their music. And right. unless they, like I said, put imaging behind it, you probably wouldn't even know that it was y'all. But right. now in the era of social media, TikTok, platforms like this, this is amazing. So we can actually 
give the artists the credit that they're due. But yeah, I've been listening to a lot of y'all music. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. I will form with my man. But our family, we don't like to pretty much piggyback. Like, we ain't want to piggyback our rock star. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, through that, that sound like a whole new group. We can't yeah, start yeah. from yeah, the jump. Yeah, that's why I didn't even know. I'm a ball. We started from the jump. We ain't finna piggyback all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, a lot of time, a lot of people don't know them our songs. So, when you heard Party Like a Rock Star in the Mix, you heard mm. seven songs, seven shot boy songs back to back. And you yeah. didn't even know it was up. Wow. <laughs> like I can only imagine how frustrating that can be, you know, when you got some, you got to follow some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that was a big ass fucking song, like to the point where uh, a lot of people used to say all the time, like the the song. Party like a rock star were bigger than the shot boys, and did you always wow. feel like you was chase? They they use that whenever you they, they have a comparison, yeah. they would use that the shot boys as that like the song you had to chase that because it went so fucking fast. That shit is true, bro. We that had to chase it, but it's really a compliment. Yeah, 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 that shit is bad. That, that shit is yeah. true, Jack. Like we was on, the, we was literally, we was on the tree in the hood. Like we would chill up on this one tree on this one street. We had our our street at the bottom of the street, Walden. Mm -hmm. And we'll just wake up and chill, nothing to do. Our lives were the same every day. If we ain't going out trying to make a move, mm -hmm. next day we on the tree. And then 30 days later, we flying to New York talking about millions of dollars. So we didn't get a chance to Talking even, about millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. we didn't get the, we didn't get the celebrity that shit. That shit just happened. Shit happened fast. fast and we were just chasing it. We still chasing it right now, we chasing it. So what was the bad thing that happened during that? Cause everybody has this story of, okay, yeah, we got a hit song, but then we went through this. Did y'all go through something where y'all like, yo, fuck music? Not fuck nah, music. Cause we, we just always kept making music. Like I was saying, the songs that we were starting over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We always just kept making music for real. And we, and, so and went, we, we, had, we had hard times in that shit. You know what I'm saying? We had times where uh, things didn't go as we planned. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people tried to come between our, our, our relationships. With each you know other. What I'm saying? With each other, with our, uh, with our manager, our no, business no. partner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing about groups, right? I've noticed that. You know, in, in a lot of groups, like even in New Edition, they all had their own entourage to the point where they all had their own tour bus. Yeah. Did you ever find, did, did Fats, Mini, and she ever was traveling with their own crew? Nah, nah, this nah, this nah. is the crew. Like, if we not doing music, we go to the club, this who we with. Together. Yeah. 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 Like, no matter what, no matter what, if, if somebody like, angry or upset about something, we're gonna pull them to the side. We like, bro, let's let's work it out right here. Yeah. yeah. And all of y'all originally from Georgia. Yeah, Wait, y'all relatives. This is my cousin. Yeah, cool. cool. my partner. Shut the front from door. The same yeah. Atlanta same for real. Way. We from Atlanta for real. That's yeah. Yeah. So who approached who about being in the shop boys? It man, it like you said, a bunch of shop boys. Yeah, we just was one there. It right. wasn't on no music at first. Like it was no music. Yeah, we was just, just crew. It was a yeah. get money crew. Yeah. How we started doing music is we were selling stuff to him, and he was like, y'all should do music. Y'all come to my studio. He was, he was like, look, this, this cocaine so good, y'all need to start <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, nah. rapping. <laughs> that, that's not what you said. <laughs> that's not what you said, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, we were fucking with the, uh, Cut that part out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, we were, uh, We was on some old stuff. Yeah, and man, then, so what we were doing, everybody in the city already wanted what we were doing. Right. What so, was y'all doing? What we were doing. Listen, <laughs> y'all know, y'all know y'all fans, and the followers of the show, they want the grit in the ground. They want to know. Man, the statutory oh, limitation gone now. We still a car. We still, still a car. Thank, still a car. Thank you. And at the time, you had Rams going for anywhere from three to Oh, three to yeah. Yo, yeah, was that? Now, you jog in my mind. Yeah. Like, at the time, so Rams got that you. So that's what it was. That's what yeah. shop mean? Oh. It, 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 it's stealing help other people. Other people. Yeah. You got it. You like Robin so, Hood around here. Oh, wow. I remember that. He's coming. Back How did you know that? Oh, you know that? Yeah, Were you a shot boy? And I wanted to be, but then <laughs> them niggas was fighting too much, man. Okay. And like, I got one eye. I, ain't, I don't know who hitting a nigga from this side. I ain't got time for all that shit. So who came up when with you get grown, you don't want to fight no more. But them niggas was still with the shit. Y'all yeah. yeah. still fight? No. no. Okay, no. good. Okay, all right. God is good. They got, uh, see, listen, they, they, they being modest. They got niggas to fight for them. No. You get mad at this nigga and then about like 74 niggas jump on you from over there. <laughs> right. You don't know where that come from. Nah, you try to swing on one of them niggas that's coming from. <laughs> who the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know you was with them. I mean, we get that. The reason why we get that, man, because like Atlanta being so supportive of the shot bar. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. shout out to And Atlanta. then, like, like the same people used to call it, we got a baby shower. We finna do a baby shower. Like, 
hood, they all you know what I'm saying? We were always there. Yeah, showing up. Yeah. And so like Yeah. Yeah, so and, <laughs> and the people it. also but they were at my party, you know what I'm saying? Shout was at my you know what I'm saying? So right. they Going, the city gonna make sure they gonna have your straight. back. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Atlanta. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to the A, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a big deal. Like when your city is riding for you, yeah. especially a city like Atlanta that is so big on music and the culture and the determination of you know who's hot or whatever. That's a big deal to have your city you know riding behind mm-hmm. you. But Atlanta always looked out for niggas anyway, though. Yeah. yeah. Like Atlanta was known for even when I when I was up no up north. People upset. People up north said all the time that Atlanta that they help each other out. They work with each other and Absolutely. whatnot. And even if they don't like each other, they'll still get on the song with each other yeah, for the. They go get the money we'll get for the, the money. city. For the city. That's dope. And two, we ain't got no jealousy issues. We from the south, so like we all know we one nigga down here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? To a certain group of people, we know we all one nigga. Right. So. If we ain't got no real problem, we ain't hurt each other, and it's, it ain't even jealousy, it's just competitive at that point. You know right. what I'm saying? Niggas just talking shit. It's like LeBron versus Curry. Like, they don't hate each other, they get to talking shit on that court. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did y'all have beefs out there with other groups? Nigga, what? Yeah. The- is that a yes? Is that a yes? Yeah. Real niggas. Yeah. We had a problem with real yeah, niggas, with not like we rappers. We had rappers. No. Yeah, our our like shit would be street, with who niggas scared of, but yeah. now they our people, we got respect from them. Because, okay. like, like, we we worth so being respected. Right. You know what I'm saying? We had to earn it. it went, we're not walking the park like we had Atlanta nigga. We out here with our chains and shit on. Right. We ain't got a million nigga with us, but we, we paid dues to be this way. Right. Hey, you, you, you ever, you ever, you, you familiar yeah, with Sega Genesis? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it, it was a game on there called Streets of Rage. <laughs> Meanie was like one of the niggas off Streets of Rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going around beating up niggas for nothing. <laughs> this, this, he want to fight. This everybody. Oh, was it trauma? Yeah, it, or, or were you traumatized? You, like, why were you? No, why did you always want to fight? We ain't want to fight. That nigga though. Like, like, it, 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 like, my people, we ain't, like, they ain't, when something is wrong and they feel like something is wrong, we're going to fight. Like, back then, like, if something wrong, like, we're going to stand up. Okay. And that's what it was. We, was. we stood up. You gotta look at No it. matter who it was. Okay. You gotta look at it. You see how diplomatic that is? You don't even know you about to get your ass whooped by a nigga. <laughs> right. And that's what makes it even more scary. You, it, 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 it make it scary. Really like, really is he mad at me? Not a fight. I'm not mad enough yeah. to fight him yeah. right yeah. now. Is he, what, you you right did now. make that very diplomatical. You're like, it's, it's gonna have, we're gonna fuck you up. Don't get fucked up. Yeah. Okay, and it went down. Then you respect each other later? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, you know, show hand out the yeah. Like now, like, like she was saying, like, everybody cool now, like. That's that respect, that's respect. That. So what's next? What are you guys doing now with your music? I know oh. that you're still making money off of that, but are you actually in the studio recording new music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got so much good music. Mm-hmm. Really? I, I can't believe it myself. Yeah. And we know how to make all kind of music. Like um, the, the music that you hear now from all these artists with this melody behind it, mm-hmm. we started that. That's an Atlanta sound. You know, like you hear something, you're like, damn, where he from? You right. know, everybody be saying that shit, though. Real, Jay. Yeah, they, Jay, keep real. Every, 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 every nigga be saying, I was the first nigga that was singing in Atlanta. Yeah, they won. And whatnot. Like, so man, what them niggas been on listening to our uh, shit and grew up. Yeah, we You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? We be, we been not influenced it, and they don't know we influenced it because they big sister playing in the house. Mm-hmm. They get the rain to our shit, and then they get the single of the month. They little partners, they little partners like it the whole time. We got a whole club rocking to this shit. Right. While they kids, now these kids, you know what I'm saying? We doing this shit in 05. Right. Because right. it's the era and like a family, TikTok, they and everything is like coming back. The 25. Oh, yeah. Right. Thinking they starting some shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we don't blame them. It just. They don't know. If, if they research what the music sound like before us, you're going to hear a bunch. I got pills. I got dope. I'm robbing. I'm killing. Right. We come with up through that. We created a lane for people that don't sell dope to make music. Cause Fun. Party. Party. Uh, party. Snap music. music. No, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? We came up with that. That's really dope. People actually that. need to hear that. Yeah, hey, yeah. That that's what y'all did. It was for you to not have to be in the streets or whatever. You mm-hmm. can make music. Cause we, it, like it, it described up, we'll be in the club with the street niggas, got all the respect, all the love from the dope niggas, the big niggas, but we ain't do that. Right. So we made music for us, and all them niggas could feel, because what we look like saying we got bricks. Right. We ain't have bricks. Like, what's the wildest shit y'all ever do, did, like, at a show? Like, when I say that, what I'm saying is, you guys are the shop well, boys. We sound part of, like, yeah, a rock star. Yeah. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
Have you ever done a show before? Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about this is before party like a rock star. Mm-hmm. Y'all performing on stage, <laughs> but outside y'all they got them breaking the niggas' cars, the, the Ooh, other 25 Ooh, niggas what? running I through them, uh, I through them. Because you, know, you, know, you broke in my car, goddammit. <laughs> and I need it. I want to confess. I need you to confess, bro. <laughs> Then we're back in goddamn 05, 06, or something like that. I need to know. I had a good time that night. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I was somewhere on Bank Head. Then we all got down, did the 52 fake out on the nigga. Niggas in the, in the club having a great time. Great time. Everybody broke into it. We ain't fuck around on Bank Head and Born Home. Like, that was like, we was somebody else. Right, then the thing, we, we wanted the money. Like, we ain't finished this fuck with no car that ain't just a regular car. But you gotta I, have I, had, I had a Buick Regal, but it was I a supercharge. Oh, when you messed with nah. that. That one, that one, that one. I had the face in my pocket. Nigga still took the goddamn radio out the bitch. I had the face in my pocket. In your pocket. Oh, yeah. They still stole. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't gonna with that. I apologize. Can we start over? Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Man, we didn't mess with that man. Nice joke, bro. You talking about some now? We didn't mess with that man. But now, for real, when we first got caught, Rockstar was so quick, and our homeboys was still doing what they were doing. So we were going on show. But I don't think they touched the regal, man. No, we ain't touching the regal. You thinking about that? We ain't do that. He said a beard. What year was? It was. It was like a like an old two. Oh, that definitely. They didn't do that. You just trying to figure out. Which one you stole is hilarious yeah. right now. Wow. You, you just know that it wasn't the Regal, though. It wasn't. But you definitely stole yeah. some cars while you were performing. No, 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 us. The crew. no, no, I mean the crew. Yeah, we go to the club. Honestly. We go to the we go to the show fit the deep. But we get in the club with your three rapping. We know we're going on. Like, like where they? Yeah. Yeah. Man, nobody. In the crowd, man. Yeah. <laughs> but by the time we get home, they got everything. Everything. Guns, oh, really? Nigga oh, stealing niggas' guns. No. Nigga no. put nigga nigga leave the house with their gun for protection. <laughs> Can you imagine how goddamn pussy you feel <laughs> when you get home and your gun gone? <laughs> A nigga, you you you, st- you somebody stole your gun. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the worst feeling in the world when nigga done stole some shit you were using for protection. <laughs> Yo, man, I, I don't know about you, Wiz, but I'm hungry, man. I said I'm hungry, man. Yeah, yeah. So if I, uh, if I'm, uh, I brought, I'm, I'm a hungry Jack. So if when I'm a hungry Jack, man, I had to go ahead and get the best of the best in here. You know what I'm saying? To help my appetite out and whatnot. I got my man. I've been rocking with him for a long time from New York, the Bronx and whatnot to, yeah. to uh, um, we was in Brooklyn. We was in Harlem. And now we are back in our hometown. Yeah. Decatur, Georgia. To yes, be sir. exact. Y'all yes, give sir. it up for the on- one, the only, DJ Chef Chuck. Man, I like to call him, man. Yo, Chef Blue Chip, let's do it. What's what? going on? What's going on? How you Jack? feeling, man? I'm great. No complaints. Life All right. is good. So, you know, we over here lunching the show right now, and I thought it was just only, you know, fitting, you know, that on the, the, the first few episodes, we had to get you on there, man. Mm-hmm. I call you Chef Blue Chip. Because when I think about Blue Chip, I'm thinking about... Big, big. You know, I'm talking about Shaq. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the movie <laughs> Blue Chips. I'm talking about Las Vegas. I'm talking about winning big. Okay. I I'm talking that. about jackpots. You know what I'm saying? When when people say chip, they talking about championships. Are you a championship chef? I like how you talking. You see what I'm, you see what I just I did? See where you're going with but you, you, I ain't gonna dumb it down to just Chuck. I see where you're going with Cause it. Because when you think about Chuck, you think about ground <laughs> Chuck. You more than Chuck, man. But, but Do you want chip. beef? Yeah. You got to holler at my dog, man. Blue hey. Chip. What's up, baby? Hey, listen. You call, I came. I called, you came. And, you know, like, you you, you, had, you came in talking shit, too. I did. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nigga, look, I got I, shit to I, do. I, I did. I got a, I got a, uh, a, a, a wedding I'm doing in, in Baltimore, Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, so I got to get on the road. But I came. You leaving right after you leave here? Yeah, yeah. They go do a wedding? Yeah. Okay. All right, hey, dog. I respect that. I appreciate that. Hey, we giving you a round of applause for that. Hey, Wiz, man, drop that round of applause for him, bro. Okay, so let me tell you what I brought for you. What did you bring, bro? Uh, So I have some Tuscan salmon. Okay. Some teriyaki chicken. Okay. Teriyaki grilled chicken. Some sauteed green beans. Okay. Red skin mash. Stop lying. And this right here is my 
Do say berry cheesecake. Hold on, do say. Do say, I do say. Do say me, baby. I okay, do. I need some of that. I do say. Would you like? Yeah, I, I would love. As a matter of fact. Okay. Don't mind if I do say. All right, sir. I got you. Yeah, I want all of that. Yeah, dog. So, uh, like, when you're making the food and whatnot, where where you at mentally? What kind of mood you got to be in, bro? You know what? Is cooking your therapy? Cooking is my therapy. Cooking is my therapy. So, mentally, I mean, I could be anywhere, to be honest with you, because if I'm if I'm sad, I'm going through something, I'll go in the kitchen and, and create something, you know? It's kind of like when some of these R&B singers, they, they go through something, they go make a great album. Same wow. thing with me. Okay. I'm going through something, I go in the kitchen, I create something great. Now, a lot of people say that when you're, you're in whatever, whatever mood that I'm in, when mm -hmm. I'm cooking your food, that's how what kind of mood you're going to be in when you're eating it. Are you saying that when you're, you, you're going through things, that's when your food tastes the best? I'm not necessarily saying that. What are you, what you telling me right but, now? I mean, sometimes I come up with some of my best ideas when you know, I'm going through something or I'm feeling a way. And it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going through something. Something could be heavy on my mind, you know? Okay. And you got to get that recipe out. And I got to get that recipe out. I mean, I could just be talking to you about nothing and something will pop in my head. You might have said something and it ain't have to do with food. Mm. It's just how my brain works. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So what's something like that you invented before? Like when it comes to food, what, like for instance, I myself, I, I ain't no chef for nothing, but what something I like to do is I like to get some chocolate, Hershey syrup, mm -hmm. put like a little spoonful of peanut butter on the Hershey syrup, on a piece of bread, white bread that is. I ball it up and then I eat it and whatnot, just like that. Okay. I made that. I made that. Okay, so something that I came up with recently, actually. So think about Thanksgiving, right? I, I always think about Thanksgiving. I know, we was just talking about Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, yeah. So think about Thanksgiving. Most most folks keep they, uh, they leftovers for two days, you know, three days tops. Well, I like to repurpose meals. Repurpose meals. I call it repurpose meals. What so do you, you? What does that even mean? Well, that means you take those leftovers and you can make something else up out of it. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, I took macaroni and cheese and made a Belgian waffle out of it. What? Yeah. It looks Ew! What are you talking about right now? No, so there's no there's no batter or anything. It the, the waffle itself is mac and cheese, mm. and then you put your greens on top, your fried chicken, and whatever else you want to put on top. And I, I made that because I had leftovers. Okay, you know, most people want to be entertained with food or you know music or whatever. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you've seen this food one way, slopped on your plate. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing it as a gourmet dish. Okay. Hey, man. Yo, talk to me about these mashed potatoes right here. Them red, the red skin mash. Okay. So red skin mash is basically, you know, uh, red potatoes. Don't take the skin off of it. Don't take the skin no. off? No. You don't take the mash it with the skin on. How can it be red skin mashed potatoes if the skin is not on? No, the skin is on. That, that's, that I just said that. Wait a minute. Come on. Because beauty's on the skin deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You see what I did? So dive into that and tell me what you think. This is delicious. Yeah. I, I don't want to do this by myself. Hey, yo, mean, yo, Wiz. Did I lose a you step? You want to play? Did I lose a step since New York? Oh, bro, no, no, no. <laughs> you ain't missed a beat. This is amazing. This uh, salmon right here mixed yeah. in with the mashed potatoes, too? Try. Forget about it. All right. Wiz, I ain't trying to make you eat, man. But I had to get a second opinion on here because, you know, I could be biased. I had this in um, uh, uh, the Bronx mm -hmm. back in the day and right. whatnot. This is my man. Right. But you tell me, is he doing his thing or not? And Wiz ain't going to lie because, you know, Wiz from the new school. Listen, I don't want nobody to lie to me. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You cool with the truth, bro? Because at the end of the day, it's only going to make me better. Okay. Thank you. I could take criticism. You know. You, you know how you do or how me and you do. So. Mm -hmm. It been a minute, so I had to get that out of my system. But yeah, yeah I said that because it's some shifts that's getting on chefs getting on your nerves. It's out a, it's, I mean, it's some shifty things going on. There's people that are out here claiming that they are a chef, you know, and they really not. They stealing from people, 
you know. Um, well, oh, stealing people. Stealing. They're taking your recipes, bro? Stealing, stealing. Not just that, but, uh, you know, they're booking events with people, and they're not, you know, a business, or they're not a real chef. And they're getting people sick, stealing people's money, and then when customers come to me, you know, they give me the third degree because of what happened to them from somebody else who said that they are what I am. Mm. So, yeah, that's where that hostility came from. And you telling me you ain't gonna tell? We gotta talk about this off camera, man. Man, <laughs> is, no, is, is, is you a chef? Or is you well, see, that's the thing, I'm a chef. Yeah, come on, I'm man, you better, I better, I better not find out. Listen. I better not find out you know who stole from me. I'm gonna come to you. Come to me, bro. I'm gonna come to you. Yeah, I'm DJ is over here. Um, Oh, Wiz. Yeah, yeah. You know, Tell us what's going on with you, Wiz. Wiz ain't shit. Man. <laughs> First off, did you eat today, Wiz? Nah, I definitely ate this morning. You ate this morning? Shout out to breakfast. Okay. Nah, but <laughs> mashed potatoes, excellent. Fantastic. That's all he gave you was mashed potatoes? So I got some green beans, too. Green beans is busting, too. The teriyaki chicken. chicken. Yeah. Talk about I it. I love the teriyaki chicken as well. Nice texture. Great taste. Okay, so you you recommend them to your friends? No, yeah, of course. Okay, man, yo, yo, chef, you you a celebrity chef and whatnot, man. Tell right. us some of the people you done cooked for. Can we can we go? Uh, can we stunt on them real quick? Tell them where that blue chips came from. Oh man, you got a couple football players in the put on in the fold. Yeah, um, yeah, a couple of them. More more recently, uh, Lil Kim. Uh, before that it was Jess Hilarious. That's my wild now, sister. Let's yeah, go. yeah, she's cool. She's cool. She's Super real, cool. She actually was drinking my Remy with me. She was sharing my Remy with me, and then the next day, oh, she drink out a cup with your ass. Listen, she, Easy. We was we was drinking it. Um, you know, mm. uh, who else? Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher. Yeah. Hey, you know Benny the Butcher started out on Sixteen or Better wow. back in 2015 <laughs> when my show first came out. This was back when he was just Benny, and if I would have known this nigga was gonna blow up, I would have signed him. Right. I Facts. fucked that shit up. So Benny, uh, I fucked it up. We got Trey Flowers, of Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. Um, Darren Reed, okay. Family C Seahawks in Kansas City. Now uh, Green Bay. Okay. Green Bay. Who cool do? Um, Bruce Irvin. Seattle Damn, bro. Seahawks. Damn. Um, Your name is ringing bells out here in this industry. I mean. Listen, I try. You know I work hard. Oh yeah. So you know, and I'm all over the place. That's that's the that's the beauty of my business. So you say that I'm, you travel. I'm based out of it, I'm based out of Atlanta, but you know, I cater nationwide. So okay. Wherever me and my staff is needed, that's where we go. Tell us what's up next for you, man. Uh, what's up next? Rest like what? Well, like what? what what's, what's the ultimate goal? What do you want? Well, tell us I'm, about this blue chip I'm, dream. What I'm working on now is a restaurant. Uh. It's a lot of work, man. Yeah? It's a lot of work. Yeah? Um, sometimes I'm on a food truck. Um, you got a food truck, bro? I'll be out here. Okay. I'll be out here. You in these and streets? I, and I usually post on my on my business page where I'm going to be at. But um, I'm working on a couple of things. Some, uh, a few of them I, I really can't talk about yet. But um, Okay. Yeah, the restaurant is, is up next. And retirement in five years, man. That's what I'm doing. How are you in now? You don't mind my asking? Actually, I'll be 40 next next week. Damn. Yeah. And you retiring when? 45. 45? Yeah. Hey, I was talking to my homegirl the other day. I told her, I'm 40 now. I'm retiring when I'm 50. It's 50 by 50. I got to have $50 million by the time I'm 50. Hey, listen, That's what the goal is the right there. The power of positive thinking. You put mm -hmm. it out there in the universe, it's real. You yes. know what I mean? And, and for me, like, I've worked really hard for the years that I've worked. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I started working for myself when I was 24, 23, mm -hmm. 24. Okay. And, you know, people sometimes like, man, you need to sit down or, you know, you need to take a rest. I mean, I take vacations, you know, I go places, do stuff like that. But at the end of the day, money ain't gonna make itself. No, you but gotta make that money. it's also not just about the bread. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, it's about this craft. Like, I bleed this, I lose sleep mm -hmm. you know, while, you know, people are, Sleep and get ready for the event. I'm I'm up okay. preparing their food. You know what I'm saying. But that hard work is paying off, and I got five more years in this man, and I'm gonna be traveling, and these businesses will just be running themselves. Okay. So, 
That's where I'm at. I love all that. Keep a lookout for that restaurant, though. It's coming. No, if anybody going to get it, I know you're going to get it. Second quarter next year, it's coming. Okay, talk that shit, bro. I got to. Talk that shit. I don't know how to do nothing else but. Hey, man, you, I, I really appreciate you coming through the yeah, New Jack Fuller City show. Me. I appreciate you and having I, me. I, I know where he is. Where you at right now, bro? He quiet. Where That's you where at right at. now, man? He quiet. That's where he at. Delicious. Talking to the mic, baby. It's too good, man. Can't even lie. I'm over here quiet with you. You gonna you gonna tell your tell a friend to tell a friend, bro? Yeah, of course, man. Here with my man right here. Here with these mashed potatoes, these green beans, <laughs> Get with the program. But you want to know what? Talk to I me. I always tell people, you know, when I'm when I'm doing an event, the first thing people say, well, everybody's quiet. That must mean something. It don't always mean that the food is. Hey, I say <laughs> people could be whispering to each other and this talking some shit bullshit. to each other. Like, it, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I wait for it. When that first person come back up and my staff serve them, that's it. And they're like, it was good and everything's great. And then the pans just be smoking. There don't be nothing left in mm-hmm. them. So, you know, that's when I know I did my job. I'm not arrogant about what I do. Mm-hmm. I'm passionate about what I do. Okay. There's a difference. It's a difference. Like, I know I know how to do what I do, but I'm not walking in a room like, yeah, you know, I'm the da 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 I don't do that. Mm-hmm. But, I lo- but I love this. This thing I do right here, I love this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, who, 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 do uh, are you the only uh, chef in your family? I would say yes, but I mean, I come, you know, we come from the south. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, at the end of the day, everybody's a chef. You know, you got grandma, you got grandpa. You know what I mean? Do, do they try to take credit for your success? Oh. I'm the one who taught them how to do that shit. Nah, you know what? My grandmother, she'd say. You know, she'll see the stuff that I that I do, and she'll be like, you know, you better than me. Because I'll take some stuff that, you know, I might have seen her do, and I'll put my twist on it. You know what I'm saying? But I learned, I learned by burning chicken. That's, mm-hmm. how, that's how I started my journey. Burning, burning, burning chicken. Burning fried chicken that I had to grease up too high. It had too much flour on it. So, you know, from there, I'm here. Hey, man, dog, I, look, I'm, I, I still have not mastered the art of frying chicken. I always burn it. Listen, I do cooking lessons as well. Yeah, that's I, I'm not just a, a caterer, so Talk to I me. do cooking lessons. I okay. do date nights. Okay, where, you know, I might book a nice Airbnb. Hold on, talk to me about a date night. Take talk to this. This is what I want to. Cause see, I don't I don't go out on dates. Okay. I invite young ladies over, and for for you know what I'm saying, they I, I if you if you can cook, I need you to cook for me and whatnot. I'm a okay. Netflix and chill type of guy. So you want to Netflix and chill with a personal chef? One hundred percent. Okay, so that's and and, gr- and yeah, sometimes sometimes women be wanting you to cook with them and shit. Not my thing, but but I like what you're saying right now because right. I was like, you can be me. You can be me. Tell me how this this date night will work for me. Now is that with you cooking or me cooking? <laughs> Make it look like she cooking with you and whatnot, and then I still want to talk to her while. She, do I want to talk to her? Because I'm not really into that shit either, too. <laughs> well, basically, I mean, that's like a cooking Shut your ass up. It's a Murder, Inc. documentary on. That's like a, that's like a, uh, uh-huh. honestly, Jack, Yeah. that's a perfect date night, though. Uh-huh. Doing I'm a cooking not- lesson with your lady. I don't. You ain't got to tell me you that. But I mean, that is a perfect date. For me, mm-hmm. I mean, it's intimate. That's something that I would do. Mm-hmm. You know, you could both go in the kitchen, have some drinks, talk some shit. You know, and just just vibe and cook. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the date nights go, like I go, like you see on my page, I go, I go above and beyond with it. Okay. Whether it's a hundred or two hundred roses, and you know, bath. I don't need all that the, shit right there, the, bro. The, the bath is already ran. Damn. And, you know what I'm saying? It's, I got a regular bathtub, so it can look like a, a, a bigger bathtub. It can, I can make it look like something. Now, my my, my bathtub will fit with but. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like them, them them bathtubs on goddamn the best man or no shit like that. Nah, I got you. But no, um, two niggas can't fit in my bathtub. Well, basically, uh, the date night is me booking either an Airbnb or you know somewhere that has a kitchen in it. Okay. Nice space for me. That to sound do. like more money right there, man. We got nice to do this in my house. What I need to do, you okay. know what I'm saying? And um, I'm communicating with the person that's booking it. So let's say you're the guy that's booking it for mm-hmm. your lady. Now, there's a lot of women that are booking these now. 
Really? There's a lot of women that are booking them for their guys. Yeah. You know what? Yes. Yes. There's a lot of women booking them for their guys. Hey. I mean, they showing appreciation. <laughs> hey, let, next time you got a woman booking it and a nigga counting on her, put me in. Put me. Tell her, hey, I got this nigga Jack Thriller coming to this bitch. Stand and date. Yes. It's I'm a stand and date. Dog, listen, I'm a stunt double. Well, listen, I never had that happen. I've, I've had some people get engaged, though. Yeah. I've had some people get engaged in front of you, in front of me, or the, uh, you know, the next day I get a phone call thanking me for the food and how I set everything up and, you know, say I got engaged. So, yeah, You're part of their journey. I am part of their journey. But that's also, you know, again, that's just one thing that I do. I love everything you're saying right now, bro. Meal prep. Oh, so if, okay. I ship food nationwide. Okay. I, I am the black blue apron. The only difference is your food comes prepared, and all you have to do is stick it in the microwave and reheat it. That's it. it Hold comes, on, yeah, yeah. I got Mr. Two Weeks Out coming next, and, you know, he's all about nutrition. You know, his, uh, he's, he's one of the most in-shape motherfuckers I know. He's been trying to get me in the gym. I know him since I'm 17. Mm-hmm. We used to strip together at a goddamn um, pinups back we, in the day. We got to talk a little bit more about that, too, because, mm -hmm. I mean, I need, like, a fourth job, so. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100 yeah. Your, yeah. your stripper name going to be Calorie. I like it. We're going to get it. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to work Next coming to the stage. You get on. Give we it up for high blood pressure. We're going to have to work. We're going to have to work on that one. Uh, I don't know about that. Man, don't worry ain't, about ain't it, man. Nobody throwing no dollars at. Yes, yeah. they will. You, you be surprised, bro. You be so you too hard that on yourself. Though? Okay. High blood pressure? Mm, yeah, high blood pressure. Because you ain't going to be the only person in that motherfucker <laughs> with high blood pressure. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, man. It's a lot of women. We're going to work on it. You, we, I hear dying. I'm going to brand myself. To be with you. you. Know. Listen, I ain't for everybody. Yes, you are. No, nah, I ain't. You, dog, you, you, you for 33% of the women out here. And that's a lot. You know, this Atlanta. And you know what that means, well, that, right? That's, that's it's problem. fifty to one. And guess what? It's fifty to one. And guess what? You do you got somebody right now? No, I don't. Oh, nigga, you gonna get off it there, your bitches then? You know what? Hey, right, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk. We look. I mean, yeah, but we'll talk we about do, it later. We do need to get into this though. This oh. dessert that I made. Okay, um, talk about the dessert. So the dessert is uh, douce berry cheesecake. Okay, this is it right here. Yeah, douce berry cheesecake. Okay. Tell me what you think about that. Tell I me do if you say. can taste the douce. Okay. Now this isn't this is not in any restaurant. This is nowhere. So if you see somebody posting that shit, you know where it came from. I I, I don't taste the douce. Hmm. That that that's a good thing though, right? That's a good thing. Yeah, because if you taste it. You know you when you cook alcohol. Most of it burns off. Yeah. So you're just supposed to get, like, the essence of it. Okay. So if you knew what the berries taste like by themselves mm -hmm. and then you was to taste douce, mm -hmm. then you would know that, yeah, it's in there. And you're not. Hold I mean, on, wait, wait. I mean, you're, I'm... you're not supposed to get drunk off of it. Okay. <laughs> People think with boozy desserts you're supposed to get drunk. You're not. Yeah, I try to that's, that's not. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay. You want to, you want to try that? He only got six of them, man. So that means first come, first serve. And I, guess I, I just I, made an announcement. I, I made these. It's special. only six. I Do say who, cheesecake. Whoever's special, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> you better bring your special ass up here and get one of these <laughs> inside New Jack. Hey, if you don't get no Do say cheesecake today, that's on you right there. I mean, you could book me and get it. Oh, and I, mean, I like what you did well, you right there. You can find me in my restaurant. This is delicious, man. I appreciate it. No pun on you my code. You lie to me, though, right? No, never. Come on, now. Okay. Hey, cross my heart, hope to die. Stick okay. a needle. In your eye. Come on, now. And eye. you know I want that. You know I want that. Yeah. It's no <laughs> worse thing in the world. Well, I'm going to tell you how not to do that. Man, don't tell don't them like that. Don't lock your dough. Yeah, don't, don't lock, lock your dough. Your I don't ever lock my code, though. Don't lock your dough. Okay, so what does that prevent? Yeah, you better hear me. Oh, it sounds good. I've been telling you. It sounds good. A lot of crime prevention. Okay, now. If you lock your door, they're gonna bust you one and they ain't gotta pay for the one. But you're still gonna rob me? I'll go, I'll go through your lock. They're gonna get in there anyway. I'll go through your lock. So you better pay some money. So you go through the car, don't lock it up. Look through, ain't they? They're gonna look through my car, go on back to you. Oh, okay, so if you don't find anything that's valuable, you're gonna leave. You're gonna shut it up. You guys are nice robbers. You you guys are nice robbers. I mean, burgers. We're not robbing the leader, though. 
talking about what I do, what I do for for me cousin. For nobody breaking my car. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant that. But that was, that was way back then. Oh, that was, that was, so let me ask you this. Has y'all y'all homeboys ever turned on y'all while y'all were performing and broken y'all car? We know how to break the car too, so we don't do no shit like that. Nah, our homeboy, what up, man? We we love you. Oh yeah, you can't tell me no shit like that. Yeah, yeah, we love you. I just thought about it. We've been down, we've been down too many years. I can dig it. I can dig it. Fights. That was back in the day though. That stuff don't happen. I'm glad it doesn't happen. What's the dumbest thing y'all spent money on? That's a whoa. That's a great one. A lot of money. The, the, a girl? I was just in the <laughs> 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 the, the always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always. Why was that dumb? Undisputed. Girl. She wasn't my girl. Nigga just showing up. How much did you spend? Wait. When, uh, what was, <laughs> are you doing this currently? No, I mean, like, what was the most obscene amount of money? You know, you get that first big check. Everybody going by jewelry or a new car or just something stupid. Like you spend some money on it, you wish you didn't. You wish you had strip that. Strip club. Me the strip me club. Me the strip club. Me definitely the strip club. Strip club. What's the most you blew? Oh God. Man, I don't Man, even know. know Cause it been it been days, nigga just wake up and the, the money gone and you know you was in the club <laughs> and you gotta go get and you gotta go get ninety five hundred out the bank. Oh, so you keeping your money? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep you gonna get ninety five hundred out the bank every day. They were telling us ten thousand. You get the IRS on you, yeah, so, so we would get ninety five hundred out the bank every day. And just hit the club every day. You know what I mean? Really? They party I go to every the club. Night. You see these niggas somewhere? I go to the club. They call me fat. We had a club. What's up, bro? We need fifteen more. Th what? And then I thought about how <laughs> stupid that was to get the money <laughs> where we work for and just throwing it in the air. That's the. That's I never so understood stupid, that man. shit. We put a lot of beautiful stupid. women through school. But it I don't think it was stupid. I think did. you guys were helping oh, no, your wait, community. Wait. Thank to you. Well, we wanna, hey, 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 stay right there. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> when we were doing that in Crucial, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. All the labels, well, when they sign a new order, they'll send on the Crucial and get them a little money to throw. Like, they had a shop bar. Man, we don't need so much for we the We turned the Crucial up. We like, turned the Crucial up. Like, they, 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 they super turned it up. Think about yeah. clothes. Think about clothes, right? You remember they were begging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't say that no more. Cause we turned right. it, we switched it. We, Why? Oh, you started that? Yeah. 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 I was busy bouncing. I didn't even right. notice that. We ain't never seen no black people with mohawks. And all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, now you guys were very rock stars. I had lost out. my hairline around that time. That was that was what made you unique. What? I lost my hairline. So I wanted to get a mohawk. I couldn't do it. it <laughs> It no, work. And then, <laughs> then these niggas had tight pants and stuff too, yeah, yeah. with all the chains on them. Yeah. I tried to do the shit, it didn't work. <laughs> and then I was chafing a lot and whatnot. And yeah, my getting like these little skinny brown spots on my chafing? and the inside of my legs. Nah, the skinny nah, jeans cross chafing. Nah. Oh, okay. We yeah. we got fitted jeans. We don't really do the skinny, but we made niggas do the skinny. I, my though. body don't feel right you know today I mean? with skinny jeans and none of that shit. Nah, you see that. everything in my pocket. You gotta have the right body. For <laughs> no, it. I do. You gotta have the right body for that shit. <laughs> I, I never had a body like these niggas, man. That I, I've never had a pair of skinny jeans in my life. And then I got a big booty for a boy. So I never, never look right on So ever. you guys have families? You have kids? Yeah, hell yeah. So who, got no kids. who's married? No, none of us are married. None of y'all are married? Nah, never got married. No. Never got married, no. No. Engaged. I wasn't engaged a whole lot of time. Though. Yeah. A whole lot. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm saying that. I'm like, no, you ain't telling me none of that. No, wait, your partners didn't know so it wasn't real? It could have been real. Man, nah, I was just. It's just popcorn all the time. It's just popcorn all the time. Okay, so then I gotta ask, are you the emotional one? No, like, I used to go to the jewelry store. So mm -hmm. when I go to the jewelry store, the dude, see, you always send me the ring. You want a ring? I got a ring for this. Yeah, get it when you get it, baby. You want to get married? You, know you I mean? literally would propose? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I done, I done been fake engaged about five times. No. <laughs> five times you didn't get, you didn't, you know, because. Now you really like them. You, you really put a ring on You like mean, yes, but you don't, you don't, you, you about to, you, you, well, she ain't engaged to you, but you not engaged to her. He kept spending it was fun. on rings. It was fun. I mean, it wasn't fun. fun. He it was cool. She smiled. Ain't that right? You fucking make a But y'all never made it down the aisle. See, you like, can be engaged forever. Just the ring. We, 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 we still engaged. Still engaged. Really? We really, don't really still engaged at all, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. I'm still engaged at all, y'all. So whatever one of y'all want to get. And so you know when you do that, you have to take care of them. Yeah. So you cool. still taking care of all them women? I'm saying we, we. If you with you, yeah, you getting taken care of. So but when I leave you, everything go back to normal. 
Yeah. 100%. That's how it go. If a girl with me, she my girlfriend. She my fiance right now. But when she go home, then, you know. Then you might have a new one. Turn turn into a pumpkin again. This is, this is, okay. So, okay, so then what do you, I know you guys have seen Let me get everything ahead, that's, ahead. yeah, everything that's going on social media. Uh-uh, come on back up. I want to hey, see on, you. Up, so, relationship goals. Mm-hmm. Like we used to say, Will and Jada, I always did. I used to think that they were like some of my see, favorites. See, they, but no, but that, you said, you but that is a good Michelle couple. And Barack, yeah, yeah, I don't that think, is think a good they're couple. bad. That's why I'm still bringing up Will and Jada because there's a lot of together. people that yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, respect yeah. their relationship. Um, then you got, you got like Michelle, it. yeah. Like who would you consider relationship goals? I'm gonna tell you, by us being Jay-Z on the road and, and being seeing all these different women and how uh, she go, yeah, they fuck my mind up with yeah. I can tell. So you didn't connect to anybody and say I want to be like that. Wrong. No, I'm talking nah. about images and, uh, of other yeah. relationships that were positive. Now he's saying that he fucked a lot of nigga girls. <laughs> And he like, no, nah, fuck this saying, shit. He's not saying that. Yeah, he did. That, yes, he did. I got 20, see, ho, I got 20, 30 some shot boy. Like, I was shot boy 30 somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Every last one on got most of it, and I see what they be doing. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's no, no. Ah. Come on, now. Nah. So it don't, it don't even make you motivated to commit. If I find one, I believe I'm fine. The right one, one. I'm, if God she bring me yeah. one, then I'm yeah. just going God bring me one. I feel like. And you going to settle down. Will you cheat? No. I ain't going to cheat. Never. I ain't going to cheat. I don't be with you some quiet. little you know? Nigga passed that. <laughs> <laughs> we passed that Oh, these part. niggas didn't have more coochie than a tampon, bro. I don't have relationships like that. You know, bro. Yeah, this shit, this shit real. It might be like a man or something, but I ain't cheat. Once a nigga lock in, you know, shit. Once you, once you, once a nigga lock in, you ain't gotta cheat. Yeah. We don't do it. We don't do it. Yeah, I have broken hearts. Hell yeah. 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 Really? How'd you handle that? Call yeah. these <laughs> niggas that just, just pulling up. <laughs> yeah, and not so. talking about that you shit. You screw your best friend. Nah. Okay, that was nah, dope. I don't want to do that. Nah, nah. Well, well, Jack well, well. That that's how you. These niggas out. These my therapists right here. Well, you know, shout out to everybody who are. Uh, yeah. Shout out to everybody who go get real mental help. Mm-hmm. But we from the hood, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's certain men, you know, we don't feel comfortable going to any folks I've been. Okay. But I, I feel comfortable pulling up on my dog. Where y'all at? Now ain't got nowhere wrong with me. Where y'all at? Boom, we chilling. That's it. That's that, that my therapy. I take him to the club. Like, bro, come on, let's go to the yeah, club. Yeah, let's go to the club, man. No, like that's quick. dope. That y'all yeah. stay connected and y'all support each other. So y'all know I had to hit up my followers and tell them that y'all were going to be on. I had to ask them what they wanted me to ask y'all. Yeah. They want to ask y'all how y'all are related to current stuff. So like the situation that happened with Chris and Will, who was wrong, who was right? They want y'all opinion. I don't know, Hey, man. if I come in here, we, we, we were talking we, about we that. But we down there had a little spat about that. Yeah, we were talking about that. He talking so it was about, a split. Yeah, because he, he felt like, I feel like, nigga, don't put your hands on me. Okay. You feel me? Like, nigga, don't put your hands on me. You right. slap me, we fine till they pull us apart. I'm fine. We, we, it, but no, you can't slap me. On no the Oscars, money. you just slap Will back? Hell yeah, we'd have been rolling up that motherfucker. They would have had to stop all rolling that. Rolling on the real. Man, what? But Fat was like. I would fell on the ground. Fat was like, but I would have hit the floor. Like, well, you want your check? You? Yeah, you <laughs> want the check, you feel me? Man, you play with me like this, man. Come on, man. First of all, we don't, we don't let some TV in front of all these right. folks. Like, they man got a family, kids, all these. But I got to explain it. So what about if it was somebody disrespectful? No, I was like, and I know, like, okay, we can eat and say, okay, we can take and fuck Will Smith, fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, but, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm finna, come on, bro. But if somebody disrespecting your queen and got the whole audience cracking up. Don't say it in the front. I would have checked. He's a comedian. I didn't even know he's a comedian. They, they, they go to enough comedy club. To re- they, they, respect, they respect comedian. Yeah. So he said his wife, y'all, they shouldn't have been in the front. That difference. I would have checked his I mean, ass. He could have uh, checked him, but not that yeah, shit. At the end of the show or something, he could have been like, But he must have known he was a ho, though. Nah, but I mean, <laughs> I ain't mean that. Hold up. Trust <laughs> me, <laughs> I ain't mean that. Like, we get what you're saying. I mean, he probably felt he wasn't going to get hit back. Yeah. No, okay. Nigga, 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 I no, would, no, for real, for I, real. I would too. Oh, my bad. No, for no, real. real. They say, no, 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 they say he was in special classes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so when Will Smith did that, they were like, 
you, like you pretty much man, picking on smell them up. You know what I, mean? I didn't Me? know that that Chris was supposedly like mentally impaired. Yeah, artistic. Like artistic. Now, now listen, artistic. listen. Jet White that last night. Jet White that last night. That for real. Special Ed. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. So, but he's he's. I think that he's he's actually functioning now as an adult. Yeah. So that nigga ain't special Ed no more. <laughs> he slapped that man. He he knew he could slap that man. A nigga know who he could slap the shit out of. But see, ninety nine uh -huh. percent of the chance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, nigga just that. willing to take it all the way like that. You feel me? But yeah. nigga know who they can slap the shit but, out of. But that called problem, cause then you gotta look at this. Just say Will Smith slap one of my partners. Nigga ain't gonna do we that. Go, not, not, but we gonna handle it, right? <laughs> You know what that what? shit hard to even think. Now we'll snuff in there. Oh, they did. You know what I'm saying? Now we all finna go to jail, code with you, D. Because we definitely gonna, man, we finna run on stage. That shit hard to fathom. Nigga ain't slapping. Man, we ain't on the Oscars. No well. No well. I felt bad for both of them. I did. Something I has to be going through your I, mind. I, I don't feel bad for rich ass niggas. I don't. Me either, Jack. I, I don't. Feel, I don't oh, wait, because you get money, like, then you're not supposed to have empathy for a person who's getting money? But, yeah. But then, it like, yeah. I just think Will was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Then, it like, you don't turn up on somebody. Okay. You don't turn up on somebody. Turn up on everybody. You can't pick who you Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, you, know you can't. You can't. Know you can't. Like, can't. Every nigga say something about her. Right. You ever seen the movie Falling Down? Nah, what it was about. It's a bad day. It's just a bad day. Anybody can get it. Yeah. Like it's one of those movies. Oh, I like somebody in the studio audience heard it. Y'all yeah. seen Falling Down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a movie where it's like, yo, this is not the day yeah. to be fucking with me or my wife. Yeah. And then, I mean, you just, you, you react because yeah. we're human. But I do believe that, like you said, keep your hands to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you just, we don't have to go that far in order for us to be assertive. We don't have to be aggressive to be no. assertive. Yeah. So now I rack with that. So all of y'all agree that he was wrong. Yeah, he was definitely wrong. Okay, the next question. This is another one. It's very difficult. Oh, man. It's yeah. about Irv Gotti. Do you guys think that he's unfair for talking about his ex? Yeah, that's he shit. He's feeling. He and his feeling. Man, that was so that, that's so old. You still yeah. remember that? Yeah, he still. Uh, he he man, that's do. So bad. <laughs> He, she's gorgeous. She is. She gorgeous. It seemed like he remembered it like it was yesterday. He done came out better. Me, I don't speak on parallel shit. If I do, it's gonna be something positive, even if yeah. it's a bad turn, even if, like, because you moved on. You could right. have a husband, you got kids, anything. You know, but hold on, you, 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 you know what? This is what, this what, this what I defend Earl on, uh, um, uh, Irv. What I defend him on, the reason why he feel that way is because, hey, I don't know how y'all gonna feel about this. He made her. He made her. Usually, when people create somebody from a, a, a place, place where it was like, all right, if I put you on, you know you belong to me. That happened. He like, like it's a possession. No, he he, he felt like she was a possession. possession. That wrong. That wrong. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I'm not like that. Yeah. I ain't like that, but I was, I'm just putting, I'm being empathetic to yeah. what he's doing and putting, my, putting myself in Irv's place. He feels like, damn. You, uh, I, I, put, I put you on and you left me. No, that's he might, he might if he no feel like that. He might not got no real Of course the nigga a, a ain't got no goddamn nigga real. Be, when the nigga be the leader of their situation, <laughs> oh, they ain't got no real nigga be like, bro, you tripping. Right. Like, yeah. we, like, well, I think Ja was telling them to like. Yeah, he was. Ja was like, yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, 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 Ja was telling them to chill. Listen, listen. I think they partners are on TV. Yeah. I think they partners on music videos. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, it's niggas like how many how many motherfuckers you know do people think you know that y'all just partners yeah, yeah. on in, in, in public? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But it looks like to the average motherfucker that y'all really got damn down no, for life. No, no, yeah, yeah. I, I get it, but you see what I'm going with it? I didn't agree with that shit, man. You know, we I didn't agree, do shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't agree with how it was given. I, so I feel like on these type of platforms especially if it's um, male dominated, if there is liquor, if there is cannabis, mm -hmm. and you're having a conversation. I see, I don't know. I'm just saying the things that were obviously there. Yeah, it's like you're in a basement with your homeboys, you're having conversation. I don't think that the conversation was out of place. I think that the passion that he put behind it. He hadn't dealt with it. it was, yeah, I don't think that it if, was If resolved. Nelly took one of your bitches, You'd be the same way. I wouldn't be the same way. I wouldn't. Has, ne has wouldn't. Nelly ever took one of your bitches? Hell no. And then get then put on some <laughs> apple bottom jeans. Probably did. 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 Probably did.
Nah, but let's see. Listen, I ain't did. even never met Ashanti, but I care about her. Yeah, me too. I felt like a lot of people cared about her in that instance because she seemed like so innocent. Like, like you know, like this person is attacking yeah, her in like, or her privacy. Yeah, it seemed like, like her privacy was like being attacked. I like but I don't. I don't think that it was. And I'm all for women, <laughs> but I think that men. He care about you. Yeah. He care about. I care about you too. Thank you. I care about all three of you. Yeah. But no, I don't think that men shouldn't <laughs> be able to talk about girls. She I friends think, don't you just there? Man, you saw, you know, you saw that right? What? Uh, no, <laughs> Jack cannot speak for me. No, you know, I'm gonna speak. No, what you ain't gonna do? No, there. yeah, I no, he ain't gonna speak for me. There. I didn't friends, honey. No, okay. I stayed out. So, oh, what's up? So, you gonna you gonna go ahead and uh, you gonna put a ring on it? I'll take a he spot. He did not. You gonna put a ring on it? That is not she what he said. Ring. You gonna put a ring on? Oh no, I don't have a. I do have a ring. You gonna you, you gonna husband my dog? Over. No, no, no. Husband my dog then? No, that's not what I wanted. What you wanna do? You can you take my nigga to roof crest? No, I'll take. He can take me to roof crest. You like roof crest? You I like, like seafood? What you like, whatever you like. I love seafood. I like seafood. Yes, oh my goodness. Hey, can I go? Stuffed chicken breast. Nah, I want to go. <laughs> yes, the sweet Brian potato Cam. casserole with the Brian asparagus. Cam. Oh my goodness. And then yeah. they have this uh, carrot go. cake. Oh, yeah. I want to yeah. go. You but look, go? though, but for real, though, he did that one more wrong. And two, that's. Let me say that that's a shanty. This ain't just no regular little bra. Running that you're speaking about. She, she got history, and it's a black woman. Like the least you could do is respect do it to a the white time woman, right? that I did have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you know what? <laughs> say, listen, we not cool right now, but you know we share the past, yeah, yeah. and you know I still anyway, respect that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just think that it should have been handled. But I think the conversation he was being probed. Well, they were asking him questions about it. Uh, I, mean, I think he should have answered it. Right. No, ain't nobody asking him that shit. No, they asked, no. <laughs> if you watch. I wait to say that no, shit. That nigga right. wait. No, he was asked, but he looked like he was on go. As soon as. Yeah. So you knew I was fucking the bitch, right? <laughs> did, you, did you say it, Shanti? No, you know I, I hit him from the back. You know she ain't my ass, right? I been in her shoes before. I was in her shoes before. Like, uh, uh, you know, like you, you know what I'm saying, the street, and somebody be like, yeah, and I used to go, you be like, man, you go with me. Right, you know see that, like, and that no was the thing, the world didn't even, a lot of people no, didn't like, know. Some, somebody, somebody had then put, put, put something on your name and said, yeah, that no, shit. So you know how you in the club, yeah. tripping, you meet somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, do yeah. that to a shot to them. Yeah, yeah, this, this, yeah, I, got, I like how you protect the women. Like, yeah, man, it be so many women goddamn lying on my dick. So you been a set, so yeah, you yeah. said yeah. yeah. like, like get over it. You know what I'm saying? Tell, telling people how big my balls is and all that old stupid shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, yeah, for real though. Like yo, keep me private. Yes. Keep me private. You know? It's so crazy. Yeah, I, I got a family. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got a family. You are embarrassing the family. Yeah, you crazy, yeah. man. You are crazy, Jack. Hey, so let me ask you this, man. Um, boy homes. Born now, this was something that I never understood about the shop boys. Uh. Like, it, it seemed like y'all were always there, even as, like, big celebrities. I, 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 I never got it. Yeah. Like, you you, you could, me. like, you could really... Like roll up on Born Home and, and you see, might see one of y'all in there. Yeah, all of us. Oh, 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 yeah, hey, low, oh, I didn't get it. Wow. It's crazy. And, and Shawty Low too. You would see these y'all see like what the fuck is these niggas still doing here? Yeah. Yeah. It was like y'all really. Hey, I thought y'all had clones at first. But I'm like, no, them really them niggas. Yeah. yeah. Nah, we 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 cause we were real niggas that really made it out. We were real niggas for real first. Like we we had real hood love first. Okay. Um we were the real home team heroes first. And that was expected of us. And it's like a family you know too, though. Hold on. So no. let, 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 it's it's one thing to say people it was expected of y'all. Did you feel like the people in your neighborhood make y'all feel obligated to nah, be there? No, nah. no, we left was, so fast. That's all we knew. Right. The the route shit was new. That okay. was our life. We right. we ain't moving born home. We grew up in born home. Right. It wasn't no like we were twelve and moved out there. Yeah, these were y'all. This roots. is our, our yeah, this, only this place of living. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We ain't know nothing else. So where else we gonna go? We can't go to. Bro, I used to fuck a couple hoes in born home. <laughs> and man, in the in, in the winter time. Yeah. Man, it used to be so goddamn hot inside them apartments, bro, with that one heater. But and in the heat, though, bro. The heat. Summertime, though. Nigga. 
Nigga, tough. that shit broke my hotline. <laughs> <laughs> and if you were, and if you were fucking with a hoe that the pH balance was off, you this was all through the house. You could smell that shit. Wait, oh. you kept on fucking with her even though her pH balance was off. And she had a good heart. <laughs> yeah, to that bond home lot, you was stuck. You said you was stuck, though. Yeah, you stuck like, now you see what yeah, we were going through. Man, it was a bad bitch. I don't know. Joke, <laughs> so wait, so you bad. guys, you, you sleep with women with bad pH balance? No, no. fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we ain't doing that, baby. We ain't doing that one. Nah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one that's happening. You the only one, Jack. You the only one, man. We smell anything, baby. It's over. You always been like that. I always been like that. Man, before party like a rock, before you you ain't go up through there. Still, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't go up through there. Like, you ain't go up through there. 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 You ain't go up through so I can't even take the trash out. Like my, my family, I can't take the trash out. We got out. class, like, Mr. Listen. We got class. No, got Jack standards. told me that you guys were alike. Yeah, and y'all nah, grew up nah. around each yeah, other. We, nah, we are like Jack crazy. You feel me? <laughs> Jack crazy. That's a difference. Shout out to crazy. I don't crazy. Yeah, I know he's a strip. I be hearing that, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, 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 I seen John Samuel tell me you strip with the Mr. Two Weeds out, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I seen that shit. Yeah, yeah, did y'all know his name? No. Tell him a good one, boo. Uh, it, was, uh, it was Bob Wire. <laughs> I'm small, but I'll cut you. That's my shit. That was your shit? That was my shit. You really was strip, man? Re and yeah. pinups, yeah, when it was called Guys and Dogs. Oh, man. He was very proud. Really proud. used to strip. Really? I, I was stripping, working at pinups, and doing comedy at Uptown Comedy Club. But he wasn't going by Bob Wire initially. It was Honey Buns. He was honey very buns. famous oh, out man. here. Yes. Now, they, they knew me when I was Honey Buns. Oh, y'all used to know about him stripping at Honey Buns? We didn't know about him. Oh, 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 they, no, they, they probably did. They didn't go to the strip club. One well, thing about Jack, he going to be everywhere. So we were seeing him. Everywhere. Every time we turn around, we see that man. Every, every goddamn <laughs> world. Everywhere. Getting it. I was like monkey pops. <laughs> hey, well, Ever got me. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, Jack. Hey, uh, fact or fiction? <laughs> uh, uh, Born homes, two hundred and fifty thousand dollar a day trap. Yeah, yeah. facts. That's a fact. How is that even possible? Nick, okay, you gotta look. You gotta look. You gotta right look. Now. One of the bigger truck stops in Atlanta, Georgia, down the street. Mm -hmm. Right. You got. Well, you would think they crazy. Well, they smoke. They smoke, but they not prostituting. You would think they wouldn't be prostituting. But while they doing, going to the, getting money from the truck driver, going to born home buying work. You feel me? So, then you got born home was like one of the first places in Atlanta where people were kicking drugs. Oh, wow. You know, so it's it's a lot of history. So it's a lot of reason why it was. And all, also, you know also, I ain't mean to cut y'all, bro. But like five niggas can get fifty thousand a day back in those days, easy. So did y'all have so yeah, like the cops over there? Hell yeah, yeah, the projects. Man, I'm gonna tell you. You you seen them documentary? You know. Well, you yeah. know what in Detroit oh, is places where cops won't even go. Going home like that. Okay. And the cop was selling dope. Cops nah. were probably selling dope. Got Crap. a couple females. See, so you got to look. You walk out your door. Mm -hmm. If you walk out your door and stand on your porch, ten minutes, you gonna have about fifteen people like, hey, you know what to get, you know what to get, you know. Right, so you gonna be like, man, I might as well get in my guy now. So, man, shit, I, I, I know what I'm saying. They probably make more than two hundred fifty thousand yeah. a day. Cause it was, it was I know like five niggas. I know five niggas that was probably that getting fifty thousand a day. Like, like, like we rep, like we rep. Four hundred million dollars a day. How you were saying how we rep, right? We were seeing in the hood, but you had niggas out there with way more money. We're getting money back in the 87 now. nigga making a million dollars a week. Oh, you got to look at so that. Man. nigga making half a million a week. Y'all should nigga. make a movie or a little series about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's some Netflix shit all day. Yeah, yeah. that's well, it. I got a ain't got nothing for a long time. They all New York nah. niggas and everywhere else. They ain't really got nothing. We so finally we got, got BMS. Legends. Yeah, we got legends down for here. For Detroit. But yeah. yeah. So they from, the, they from Detroit. Atlanta would see Atlanta. See, Bill Miller came to Atlanta. Why did they come to Atlanta? Oh, yeah, the season coming up. Y'all about to find out. No, but don't give it away yet. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. They're about to find but out. I'm Mill. geeked up they to find out. Shout out to Bill Miller. Yeah. Switched it up. In, in Atlanta, niggas was on 24 and 26. Like, mm -hmm. young, like that was the shit. Yeah. When them niggas came, they made niggas believe in BMWs and Lamborghinis. Mm -hmm. and right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Niggas, scrippers was driving Lamborghinis. Yeah, they was. They switched that shit Man, up. the money used to be off the ground this high. Yeah. 
in the strip club. Yeah. I remember I was in Scrokers one day, mm -hmm. and I, I was behind on my rent, all that shit. <laughs> the money was this high. <laughs> and then somebody got a shooting in the club. You didn't grab some you nigga, it was a nigga shoot, got shot in the club. I was the only nigga stayed there. <laughs> and I was goddamn under the money, getting put in the Nobody caught me. <laughs> if the, all the strippers ran, I was goddamn stuffing my shit. Got up, it was a nigga with an ice pick in the throat. I was still selling. Man, that fucked up. Well, <laughs> When I'm good, I'm good. Man, yeah, this shit was this nigga. I had, this, I had a strong stomach <laughs> doing the BMF era. Hey, but another thing about Atlanta too, like you know, born home, how we got all it, but like directly across the street, uh, mm -hmm. across the street, you got like some of the most richest black people, like heart surgeon. People own funeral home. My granddad, he had like 300 houses. Like, yeah, a real mean there, like, on the other side of the street. No, listen, I love that. My good friend Candy Burrs, she still stays. In Born Home? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it? Didn't he? Born Home ain't up no more. No. This nigga Jack be tripping, bro. Get him nerve. That's the man over there. I was, I was up like, It's a real housewife. <laughs> yeah, and she's still in the area. She's like, yo, these are my people. Yeah. Now, she's in a double gate of circumstance she's in the yeah, gate behind the but gate but yeah, yeah that's just safe place to sell though she should you know <laughs> yeah. what i'm saying but no candy is like yo if you from atlanta it's just something about being around right. the people of atlanta mm -hmm. so y'all really rock like that yeah that we yeah that's dope that's shout out to y'all love you from detroit the moment we get a check we yeah. least go into the birds yeah. i mean we still respect our city but yeah. we normally move out of the area just to keep nah, it safe. Nah, we, we gonna be around. We probably move out, but we gonna be in it every we day. We gonna still be up in it. Yeah. Every day. It's five days a week at least. We gonna be pulling up because that's our family. Like, they don't determine. Your pockets don't determine who you is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's right, especially if they gonna keep showing love. Hell yeah. Sean yeah. will go back to the west side cold time. Have you yeah. ever got stage fright before? Oh, no. Nah, I don't remember that. No, and no it ain't no mind. stage that ever intimidated y'all where y'all just running through the audience, no. running through the back. You quiet in the middle. I'm trying to see. I mean, I don't be a I, 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 I had questions about no, this show. He, 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 he probably, probably been in space or something. Yeah, I don't be a hat of a We had rock star like they like that before we even got there. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So was you was set. Yeah. Yeah. Madison Square Garden. Oh, my God. Lead it up. With no fit lip. No fit. That's y'all team know, over there. Yeah. Right. We, the West, <laughs> it, we killed that. It was so much traffic. Our boy, we supposed to be on the stage just so you yeah. go on at eight. But our boy was in traffic like four lights away, like at seven. So run. we had to get out of there. Run to it. Run down to the thing. Go right get on chick, stage. Go upstairs. And right now, I don't stay. Like, we didn't believe we was us. I think my birth was on. No, y'all really do need to think about doing that movie. You know, like, it was so much. I remember the um new edition. You just missed new edition. When they did that series, it told so many stories. Like, could you believe one of them was with Janet Jackson? Yeah, Bobby Brown, yes. I can believe him was in with everybody. And he threw it out the room butt naked. But that was so. Hey, I mean, nigga, Bobby like Brown let you believe that goddamn Janet Jackson was human. And see, that's how you do it, though. That's not how you say that bad about Janet. That's how you do that. You hey, listen, that bad listen, about listen. Janet. I, I, I just said he put her out butt naked. No, that's the movie. I'm sorry. No, I, that no, in the book, in the book, it said that too. And they asked him <laughs> on the Breakfast Club. He did that shit. He did. But see, what you got to understand about Janet, this is what you got to understand. And this is what we be keep on forgetting. She married the nigga James Barge. Yeah. This nigga was very cracky. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> On crack? Oh, yeah. They had a word. They, they Not, I crack. didn't say it, Jack said. I'm just oh, clarifying. Yeah, then the, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, he, yo, you didn't know that? No, no. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, clarifying what he, 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 was. he was on. He was on one. He was going up through there. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, he was going. Bobby Brown, he was going yeah, up through there. So the, 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 the type of chick that do shit like that got to do shit like that. Yeah. Well, you would think because of how Joe was that a lot of them wanted to be rebellious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Their dad was so like hard on them or whatever. So I can see that. Jen would be a while. And think of her music. Like yeah. But Jen she couldn't she couldn't sexy. do it in public. Yeah. She couldn't do it in public. Yeah. Her image? But she could like Bobby Brown. And that's why I rock with Bobby with, Brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have social no. media. Yeah. 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 Bobby yeah. so It ain't no telling what she would do. Bobby Brown, man. Shout out to Bobby Brown. And the other nigga Renee was a saying he would crack it. And she used to say anytime, any place. She freaked out. She was freaked out. I like shout out. Can we give a round of applause to Janet? Yeah, one hundred percent. 
I still want it to this day. Yeah. Yo, have y'all had any famous, like, Jainy? We'd love to hear about it. Yeah, man. What, man and Rihanna? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, what do y'all have, Rihanna? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alba, but oh, go, okay. I, I, you have a thing a, for she, her? She, she had her eyes on my partner, man. Really? And he kind of like, was like, she grabbed him and everything. Game, she scared. grabbed him and everything. It was you? Yeah, oh, she no. grabbed him. Oh, Mina had everybody. Man, it's a legend. That he, he, oh, Mina tells the, the story. He, 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 he was goddamn Mina, yeah, the I white was girl dead. slayer. <laughs> I was dead. <laughs> you like that Oreo? That's even yeah. like it. And, and, and a lot of, he used to get a lot of flack for that shit, too. Because like, people be like, you know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> how you going to turn your back on the sisters? <laughs> And, and I remember me the saying one time that like nigga I grew up with black women all over. nigga wanna try some different shit. <laughs> really? So that's is that what you're into? Man, I, it don't matter you just the like races. Good women. I, I just like beautiful women. Yeah, that is dope. If they, if they happen to be white. <laughs> if they happen to be white, fine. Fine. if she fine, it's all that matters. Yeah. So bro, anyway. Yeah. Are you guys dad? It's what's on the outside that matters. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. It's what? So did y'all hear what he said? What did he say? You guys pick women based so much on the outside. That's what. That's what. Yeah, initially, yeah. Yeah, initially, yeah. <laughs> they, they you do, you, you do, man. Yeah. We all do. We I all dated do. Flavor Flav. No, no. And uh, nobody said that he was cute on the outside. We don't outside, put that in past you. Right, what? So but, you said so he was. So, 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 so you said so you like older man. No, I'm saying I never. I understand. You know, people have their. They think they gotta be light skin, curly hair, whatever. Flay was fine to me. So that was so. That so, was so, so. You were able to walk around somebody and say, "Let me see the bunchy face when you see the inside." Because I liked Flay. Oh, she fucked with Flay. Yeah, Flay was a good guy. That's some that's some good shit. Yeah, and that's what a nigga want when a nigga ain't around and a year down and she speak on me. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Flay. He put. He really put. Myself, 60 women on. Yeah, Let's well, just say that. Yeah, and he was real know. humble about the shit, and he still like up. text to this day and be like, "Yo, I'm just checking in or whatever." Flavor's like a real nigga. She like, grounded. Yeah. Yeah. She's really grounded. She, she's she's very down to Mars. I mean Earth. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> he meant Earth. No, I am down. To Earth. I I would like a good looking man, mm. but I really date for energy. Like mm. if I feel a connection or whatever. Yeah. I mean, because your looks can fade. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, my God, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Oh. I, got, I got a lot of energy. You have a good heart. You have a good I, heart. I, got, I got a lot of energy. Yeah, no, oh, Jack, you're Georgia very Powell. Sexy. Georgia you're Powell. Very sexy. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got Georgia Powell. I got Georgia yeah, Powell. Crazy. My shit on. What does that mean? My lights is on. My lights is on. I got I got two fire sticks. <laughs> you know. You meant literally your lights were on. I thought you were comparing it to like your lights were on. No, my no my lights is on in the house. I'm not, my bill was sixty dollars last night. I'm doing all right. My, <laughs> the energy is going through the department. Yeah. Really. One hundred percent. Hey man, what's the whole fact of fiction? This is an, another thing that um, I, I always wanted to know. It, you guys got a five million dollar deal yeah. at one point, and you 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 the uh, legend has it you didn't see it at all. Mm-hmm. Is, um, that, that's um a part partially fact. We got a lot of money in uh, other departments of the music too. You know what I'm saying? We we made it. Pretty, was it a 360 deal? Is that what you're saying? No, nah, it wasn't a 360 deal. We had a um like a like an independent type deal, and um we had it through our uh, manager and CEO at the time, uh, Brian Ward on their records. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He really behind us, and um. It was just a situation where they came between us so they can keep the money, not the record label, but um, can we speak on it? Yeah. It's like the, the attorney. Man. It was the attorney. The the lawyer. Lawyer. It, it, it's so it get deep, you know what yeah, I'm saying? But it was that, hold on. It we was that. Carl Washington. No, 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 I don't even know who that is, but I, we don't want, I don't want to speak hey, of his name. Right, I get that. I don't want to speak of his name yet, but yeah, it's a lot of money. We going to get either way it go way more than five million now that we know who way more. way more. Yeah, way more. A lot of artists from... What you from call it? Primitive damages, ain't it? Punitive. <laughs> Punitive. Right. Yeah, but yeah, a lot of artists from that era went through that. Do do you guys ever go to court and actually get your money and just be like, nah, I'm straight, I'm just... Yeah, how do you audit that? See, a lot we of on people, both of us. We on all of us. On, on, okay. on before that, a lot of people were just going through situations they're living with. Yeah. You feel me? But we, the shop, boy, we were like, hey, son ain't right. Something ain't right. Well, the son ain't right. Right. So y'all start from the beginning. 
No, 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 we no, we ain't no, we, we blame his ass. We blame the that, CEO. When we found that everything went right, we were real vocal about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what we did was because whoever, whatever they were trying to do, they didn't expect that song to be so big. Mm -hmm. Just man, you trying to steal from me. You trying to put money in the pack, but it pack bigger than the goddamn room. Right. Mm -hmm. You know you can't hide you can't, it. Right. So now you feel it like it's it's like what happened with us. And when, when our story come out, everybody from the record label, every artist ever gonna be like, hold up, bro, let me, let me go check, check my this money. Shit. No, listen, I hear that all the time, especially of that generation or whatever. Yeah. And they all are like, yo, these are people that we trusted. Mm -hmm. And and they knew we didn't understand these contracts. Mm -hmm. We was putting out all this music, but then they were charging us for ABC and XYZ, and then this was their original cut, and then they had to pay for this and do this, and then at the end of the day, our song is big, our name is big, but we don't have anything. Right, it wasn't with the, the label with us, it was with uh, the lawyers. Right. Like, yeah. you pull the trust your lawyers. Yeah. If you do anything, the shit. they tell you go get a lawyer, right? Right. So. With our situation, with our lawyer, they they making everybody be like, hold on, what the heck? We ain't finna get no yeah. lawyer. Right. And now we on the tail. Like it took years to get to the bottom of it, cause yeah. the person that we thought had it, it was actually his. It was his lawyer, and okay. we seeing our money wow. go to his lawyer. Comfort we like this interest. nigga got our fucking money. Yeah. Right. But the whole time it, it was, was just attorney. going to the lawyer. Mm -hmm. he, he ain't never get it. Right. So and he telling her this shit, but we like nigga, please. This can't be. Like, ain't no way in the hell. And we. Once we got the right attorneys around us, because mm -hmm. the, the, our attorneys were saying, yeah, he got his going to his lawyer. But when we got the right attorney, they were like, nah, this nigga, he keeping the money. The right. attorney is. Then so I that's when lawyer. we went to chopping it up and he, and getting the backdrop on everything. Like, damn, because we could have hurt each other. This, yeah, of course. We street nigga, he a street nigga. He right. got nigga. He it's your livelihood. Real, real. Right. And, um, I think that attorney was expecting us to hurt each other, be in prison and just, mm -hmm. yeah, but we right here together. Gotcha. Yeah, he yeah, fucked up. So you yeah, can still get up. it back, though. Yeah, 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 you can't. Okay. We don't even want that. Like, we don't even want that. that like, you can't that. have nobody thinking that you suing, like, you a lawyer, having people thinking you suing a record label that you really want. Like, you right. telling them. Like, you can't do no shit like that. And is that. this why most artists end up and starting their own labels? Mm-hmm. I don't know why. To, I don't, to prevent I don't, I don't that? Like, you, when you take, when you go be a lawyer, you got to do an oath. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you not just, cross the damn client. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially the client that's making you the money. Yeah, I think a lot of artists don't know that it be the lawyer. Like, a lot of niggas be thinking it's, it's the, the label. label. Right. But well, well, now we finding out, damn, it ain't the label. It's really the lawyer. So, all right, boom, we finna go at your ass. We from, we from the bottom. We done dealt with some dangerous niggas. Right. So, dealing with a lawyer is like, this shit like finna be a movie. Like, come on. Yeah, it's deep. So, yeah. artists that are out now, because everybody has a song. Do the TikTok. If you got 15 seconds of something great, mm -hmm. you can create a single. Mm -hmm. And you can actually be a, a superstar. I mean, got artists like, even like Saucy Santana, who I yeah. really love, you know, I respect him, I respect his grind. You know, he started off connecting with his audience, he turned it into a music career, and now he's doing major things. But what would you say to someone who's now trying to become an artist? Should they actually go look for an attorney? Oh, man, I would say shit, yeah. man. Because you still need one, right? Yeah, yeah you need one, one, but one on Yeah, one get one, one lawyer for the other lawyer. Right. Make sure these yeah. niggas don't know each other. Okay. Right. One yeah. lawyer yeah. for the other lawyer. Yeah. Okay. Yo, I like how smart y'all are. Y'all hood and y'all like corporate thugs. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's pretty no, dope. just corporate. That's very sexy. Thank you. You've never oh, never mind. I'm yeah, I'm excited. I be feeling like you talking to me. I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are we online? Talking uh, to or do we follow each other? We need to. We should follow each other. We might not we need to. That's what that's the, that's what's wrong. Ain't in Jane with no more. Just Why? get my number. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll yeah, call do that. each other. For yes. Instagram. Roof Chris. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Yes. Yeah, that's the name of our new album coming as well. Yo! Sing it, 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 so y'all single is Sky's the Limit. Yeah. The name of the album is Amazing, Amazing Shop Boys. Shop Boys. Yeah. That's really dope. Shout out to y'all. Where can everybody follow you guys? Uh, follow me at Shop Boy Meanie. Follow it. Shop Boy Fat One. Yeah, and I'm on uh, at Shop Boy She. And follow the Shop Boys page, Shop Boys underscore official. Yeah, do that. All right. Any performances coming up where somebody can catch our live? Man, we trying to put all that together. We we actually putting the um promotional tour together right now, but we definitely oh. just in the clubs in Atlanta, and okay. we do a lot of 
Like, we got this softball event. This shit big, man. Y'all need to come. I want y'all to come, especially no, we, you. No, me and Jack gonna come. You we gonna post. love that shit. Get y'all back down Jack, to regular gonna folk. Good, you know what I mean? Hey, like, hell no. Hey, we Jack, gonna, gonna be good. No, we're not gonna be there. Yeah, you look like that. Yeah, I want to come. We be putting out a schedule for shop bars and fish. You can see the scale. You can see the scale we got going on. That was going on. Wait, which one? That's it right there. Okay, because I, I got two on you, you can follow both of them. I did. I got two on just in case. I follow both of them. Do that. Thank you. And you. is it one named Jay? Is know. that a shot boy? He follow me. I don't know who that is. I'm a shot boy fat. I'm a shot boy fat. I'm a shot boy fat. I ain't fat. I'm a shot boy fat. What? Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. It's, I it's think a... I'm already following you, though. Oh, who's meanie? Me. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay, that's on the end. Okay, I probably will that. find they delete them page. Yeah. So I had to start that goal. So you fat one? Yeah. Okay, I'm I probably. always get fat, but you know, that when you get a new page, you got to put a one. Okay. On. Oh, I got to shout y'all out because this is really dope. Yeah, do that. <laughs> and we got to get you to the softball game for real, Jack. I'm dead for real. Jack, 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 Jack get to some. Because I know they need Jack, cameras and shit. Y'all got to get to some regular shit. Now, let me tell you. Hold on, cut. Cut. Time out. Time out. You ain't never seen me at no regular shit. He all be like, I said I was in the club. Oh, you you might have got Hollywood, though, Jack. We ain't seen you. No, no, that's not me. It's the regular shit. I was in the club. What that club y'all had just seen me at? Y'all, it was Libra. What no, is it? No, oh, no, oh. oh. On, on Metropolitan. Yeah, that's on, Met oh, on Metropolitan, bro. bro. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> man. Yeah. 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 That's a grime yeah. ass club, right? Yeah. 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 You in there? That's the yeah. I was in there. We in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was on a Monday night. It was on a Monday. Yeah, there ain't with no sensationalized nothing going on. Come on, you go around. Hey, come on now. How goddamn stuck up I got to be to go to goddamn go around? I'm just checking on And you saw me? Did you see? Did you did you see the girl I was with? Come on, you you can tell you can tell how down to earth I am by the bitch I was with. I saw. I saw. I can go thriller, thriller on these niggas. I can go thriller, thriller on these niggas. Hey, yo, check this out, man. Is there anything you want to say to New Jack Thriller City, man? Before we get about you. Yeah, follow the shop, boy. Follow us on all social media platforms. Be on the lookout. Amazing shop, boy. Drop it. Next month, it will be at. We got videos at. You can, um, all of YouTube, everything type shop, boy. We got a lot of content coming. We doing content every day, yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? We got, mm -hmm. stay tuned, man. There it is. Yeah. Hey, we about to go ahead and take some pictures, man. I'm see y'all next time. Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something. You got to be mad. We open, we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth. Unless you got to. Man, you been sitting out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go take a picture.